And without further ado, let's welcome the athletes here to the field of play in Samson. Number two. Bayanlar baylar, Makarolu yay bayanlar, çeyrek finalini ikinci maçında yarışacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target one representing Chinese Taipei. Bir numaralı hedef Çin Taipei'den Chen Yuzhuan. And her competitor on target two representing Italy. Rakibi iki numaralı hedeften İtalya'dan Marcella Tonioli. The line judge for this match is Maçın çizgi hakemi Alexandre Vecchio Passerini. Okay. Chen, you were shooting first. Tonioli, you are shooting second. Okay. Target number one is shooting Target one is shooting first. Range is clear. Start the match. Well, no mucking around here. We're straight into the second quarter final, and these matches are going to come at you thick and fast today. Chen Hishuan of Chinese Taipei will shoot first as she goes up against Marcella Tonioli. And this should be an interesting match as they have, uh, according to World Archery website, they have the exact same arrow average of 9.52. Yeah, it's bad. Oh. Well, that's a, nice one, a really good start from Chen, laying down a marker early doors here. Oh. Both archers have a, quite a dynamic, aggressive style of shooting. So it's, uh, it's really fun to watch if, uh, if it's up to me. You can see that the bow really jumps as they shoot. Nice. She wasn't happy with that one. Uh, went off of it to the left. You could see that she corrected it to the right. Sometimes you uh, you have to give it a bit of a wiggle to get it in the middle. Seems like it just caught the line. Uh, was I to that one a little bit longer. Yeah, there was definitely some wind on her bow there. She, you could see that it was going from left to right. And really? She tried to get it off at the right Angle moment. Funny. But nice. We're okay. We're okay. Well, great grouping there from uh, Try not to let your, your focus uh, lead by Which one. Much, Okay. And I want that feel. You mentioned the more for yeah. Power. It's been it's been okay. fairly calm here today, but it does Don't feel have to like go so it's long. just slightly picked up. Normally you should go. Yeah, it is, it is slightly picking up. Good power. Focus on the arrow there from uh, Chen to start things off, and uh, Tonioli's response. So I've been looking down the field, and, and in the beginning you could see only the high flags were waving, and now if you look at the, the little plants that are on the, on the, the thing, they're also moving a bit because of the wind, so that the wind has uh, surfaced a bit. You should first, Tonioli, you should second. Target one is shooting first, range is clear, shoot! When we go into the second end, Chef, we were here yesterday uh, and we were setting things up here, but uh, the athletes got a chance for what they call familiarization and the shooting was quite spectacular. Yeah, the power. some of the archers uh, wrecked a couple of knocks on the, on the field yesterday just by having a couple arrows of practice. It's high, uh, still high. But it is interesting here for this uh, Hyundai Archery World Cup final that there's not the usual qualification process. So you don't sort of warm yourself into the venue or the conditions. I mean, there is a practice field next to the uh, Five. finals range. Is that difficult for the athletes to contend with? Too long. Yeah, normally you get a qualification the angle round and, and just go. 
you start off with a 148, a 124th, a 116th, and and so on. Um, now you start in the quarterfinals and you don't have anything to warm up for that. So that is a bit of a difference. We're still in it. Come on, let's go. She didn't look happy with that one, Tonioli, and it's fallen into the eight. Yeah, it, it, almost exactly the same spot as the eight, the Chen shot. So that's more like it. <laughs> much better. Yeah, much better. Can't be weak. Okay. First two, not, not, not, not pretty. They both shot to a seven, not bad at all, but it does mean that Tonioni leads by that single point. Uh, if anything, it looks like either the wind is playing its part here now, or uh, they're starting to feel the tension. Yeah, the wind has definitely picked up since the first match, but I, uh, I'm guessing there's also uh, an aspect of nerves. I think if you would put them on this field with this wind in a practice situation, they would probably not have shot that eight. You can see the wiggle in the boat. Okay, there was definitely so some uh, some struggle in that shot. Tonioli yeah, leading 56, you 55. Uh, so 10, you were shooting first. Tonioli, you were shooting second. Do you have your arrows? It's the first time both archers meet in a final or elimination match. So Ready? Who will be the winner? Ready? So target one is shooting first. Range is clear. Shoot. Well, this the range has been declared clear for the third end here of the quarterfinals here in the compound women's individual event here at the Hyundai Archery World Cup final in Samson. And Chen, trailing by a single point, will shoot first. This was a good example of why you don't stop uh, trying if you shoot a bad arrow because uh, Chen shot an eight and then she was uh, excessively disappointed oh. with the eight. And then Marcella yeah, shot good. an eight as well, and then her coach was saying, you can do it's it. not over yet, you can, you're can. you still in this. So, it's good to, to keep that mindset. Well, I've uh, fixed whatever went wrong in that previous end, starting very well. Another eight, but she knew it when the, when the shot went off that it would go low. She, she, Tried to throw her bow up again. A very, uh, very aggressive style of shooting. And that's not far in the gold as well, or either. Interesting to see, you can see the, the pinky finger on the release hand is moving in. So instead of pressing the button with her thumb, she tries to push the release into her thumb with the rest of her hand. Okay. So uh, I think that's the, the proper way to to use a th thumb release, a, tr a trigger release. I love it. Well, Chen Yi Xuan has trailed from the off here. Right. Uh, Tonya has just and then when you're here. Gap. Oh, so look at, uh, okay. That's the only two. Alco eye and all of the arrows shot so far. Yeah, you can see that Tony Ali's group is a little bit tighter. Um, Those are the red dots. Yeah, the red screen. dots. Yeah, yeah. So the Chen's group is just like she doesn't have one side that she goes to when she shoots a bad arrow. The arrows are just a bit everywhere. So she'll just try to shoot better. From now on. Yeah, she certainly has had the closest arrows to the center of the target, but uh, yeah. the spread, as you say, is a bit wider. <laughs> Hi, oh. yeah. giving this her is good some test, comfort. Right? You know this test. You've done this test. Let's do it again. Yeah? We're going to shoot first. Still close. Still really close. Six shots. Let's do it. Yeah, an archer. The results are confirmed. Daniele leading 84, 82. So, Chen, you are shooting first. Only you're shooting second. Target one shooting first. Range is clear. Shoot. So, with uh, Chen trailing by two points now, it's uh, Tonioli who uh, is leading, and Chen will shoot first. Looked a bit more stable. That's more yeah, like it. There was a lot less movement in her shot uh, compared to the other worse arrows that we've seen. 
What are the Midland got? And that's probably the best advice you can give as a coach. Just put it in the middle and go. That's out. Mantieni Fefen. Si, così. Brava. Five seconds. Nice. Uh, great shooting from Chen, but we've said, we've said before, shooting first, you can sometimes apply the pressure, and put your opponent under pressure. Tonioli, though, throughout this match, just seems to... Yeah, yeah, except for that, that eight that she shot, that was really wobbly, and, uh, and, and you can see a lot of movement in the shot. Uh, but for the rest, <laughs> she's just been shooting, yeah, really good arrows. So Chen has closed the gap by one here, and we have <laughs> one more end left. So obviously, if she can do the same thing again, uh, we will go into uh, a tiebreaker with the I mean, score. We're going to go first again, no matter uh, what. I want the same thing. Shooting right? second oh, no. has managed to deal with any pressure that okay. uh, this uh, athlete Aim from Chinese Taipei has put on her, Aim even when she shot a ten. Yeah. Tonioli seems to come back at her with another ten. Well, you don't want to forget that Tonioli has won the World Cup final already once. So, yeah, yeah, I would say she's experienced in uh, in this uh, sort of competition. Yeah, she won in uh, Odense in 2016. Sure, Last test, let's do this. Three the same. So let's cheer for well, picked up a bronze medal in Berlin this year as well. I did. Yeah, stay up. All three. Target one, but shooting Chen first. Got a Range silver in Shanghai right Two. back at the beginning of the season. It's all on the line again here in the second quarter final. All to play for. Chen Yixuan of Chinese Taipei trailing by a single point will shoot first. Just out. Keep that same power. Nice. Ah. Not that pin up for Just doing enough know. there. It almost seems as if Tonioli is, uh, is teasing Chen a bit and just keeping that one point difference throughout the match. I'm sure she isn't, but it almost seems like. Right. On the 9-10 line, important arrow for the Italian. So, um, as I said before, Tonioli won the World Cup final before, and that was, um, I think that was in the match that uh, Sarah Sonnigson had to shoot against her, and that would have been the first, um, the first host archer uh, to win the World Cup final and um, that didn't happen but we're gonna get another chance at that this afternoon as we have two Turkish archers. Well throughout this match uh, Tonioli has done enough throughout always shooting second and uh, always matching Chen's previous arrow taking the lead early on she thank extended you. it by a single point Chen oh, fought thanks, back hello. in the fourth thanks, end but oh. Tonioli did enough in the end to progress and she will go on to face Linda Ochoa Anderson in the semi-finals. Well Chen looks a bit of a de deflated figure. 